Greetings, podcast listeners. Welcome to another special movie review episode of Tony the Movie Guy, the podcast. This is episode seven, and the review is on American Made. Enjoy. Hello, everyone. This is Tony the Movie Guy, and with me is Miss Money Annie. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. We seem to be doing these movie reviews in the evening. <laughs> I know. All right, so this is fresh, hot off the press. Uh, this is a movie review on American Made, which is a, a new film with uh, Tom Cruise and directed by Doug Lyman. So, uh, w- again, what we want to do is um, I don't watch every movie, but when I see a film, and I do see quite a lot, uh, I'm going to review it, so uh, let us know if you like this format and if you want us to keep doing it. I do reviews on my movie page on Facebook, and I'll always keep doing that. Uh, but we'll do a little episode, especially when we've just seen it. We're kind of, you know, our thoughts are fresh in mind, and we can kind of talk about it. So I was excited about this film. Um, it's not a big buzz box office type movie, but number one, uh, Doug Lyman and Tom Cruise did Edge of Tomorrow together. Yeah, uh, which, I, and, which we both love. Yeah, well, so here's the thing about Edge of Tomorrow, just as a little bit of backstory on that. So that film um, didn't have a lot of buzz. And when it came out, it wasn't a huge hit, uh, especially domestically. It wasn't at all. And it you was, mentioned this already about the title. That it, yeah, yeah, so, I mean, the title was terrible for yeah. sure. You know, and then they kind of renamed it Live, Die, Repeat. But it just, you know, I, I don't even think that was the biggest thing I said. I think for whatever reason, it didn't get enough buzz or enough promotion. People didn't really know what to expect. Um, It actually was a very well-reviewed movie. Critics actually loved it. And then what happened is as people watched it, it got more and more word of mouth. Hmm. So when it got a home video release, um, it's it's become kind of an instant sci-fi classic over the years. Yeah, totally. Um, It's a great film. Um, It's so, it's funny. Uh, it's dramatic, it's action-packed, and, and it really, um, it's kind of like, I don't know, the best example, it's kind of like a science fiction, uh, Groundhog Day yeah, uh, type totally. movie. Um, anyway, so Doug Lyman and Tom Cruise did that together, and, uh, you know, that film is very beloved now, it really is. So I always had American Made on, on the radar, because mm-hmm. uh, it was them coming back together doing this film. Now, this film has been around for a couple of years. I don't know if you know it's that. It's been American in the making, made. you mean? Yeah. Oh, wow. Originally, and it's an English production company, right? Oh, I, I didn't heard, know that. Yeah, I heard it's actually an English production it's, company. It's Universal released it. Uh, maybe the, you know, that when they partner or sub, I okay. heard it's actually an English, an English oh, production. Okay, yeah, company. I didn't know that. So um, it was originally titled uh, Minu, oh, which is the, 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 the town, town yeah, where okay. the, everything kind of went down. Um, And then, unfortunately, there was a lot of news and controversy around one of the crew members Uh, or someone died in a a plane crash, like, uh, last year. So that was all over the news. Um, But it's been around, like, the production of this film has been around for at least the last two years, if not longer. Now, as I told you, I saw a pre-screening of American Made. Gosh, it must have been a year, a year and a half now. Yeah. Um, as I told you, I saw it on my own to be yeah, bailed on right. me. And I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, I, and I remember I told you uh, in an, uh, on the first episode, I said this is a film that pe- might surprise people. Yeah. Um, so here's what's funny. I, so I just saw it today. Um, and, and I actually did enjoy it a lot. And you saw it last night. Correct. And, and you enjoyed it too, right? I loved it, yeah. Uh, yeah, so it, it's definitely a good film. And, and we'll rate it and give our review. Um, but I do want to kind of talk about it a bit. And the first thing that is funny and this is again this is kind of like a you know behind the scenes type information but i thought it was interesting when i saw it like a year a year and a half ago yeah it was maybe like the cut was like 95 minutes right standard movie time and this is about two hours the full length i think right. it's just under two hours they added about 25 minutes to this film which is funny because it didn't seem it didn't seem long to oh, me no, no i'm not saying like like kingsman the golden circle i'm not saying the the length worked against it i didn't think it was too long i just thought it was interesting how much they added from the first time i saw it so while i enjoyed it today uh quite a lot 
And uh, still, the best part of this movie is Tom Cruise's performance. He's absolutely. very charismatic. And yeah. he, it's, it's one of his best roles in years, and I stand behind that. He absolutely is great in it. Um, I just thought that was really interesting that um, it's kind of cool. You know, we live in L.A. and Hollywood. You kind of take that for granted. I mean, I got to see kind of the editing process. You know, mm. it's a year and a half ago I saw that first cut, and now seeing the final product being released. Totally. They added about 25 minutes. They took out certain scenes. They actually took out some scenes, especially I remember there's one or two scenes memorable to me with the wife. That uh. I really enjoyed that they actually took out. Like, there's a scene in the original one, um, well, I don't want to give a spoiler, so I can't really say it, but there's a conversation with the wife involving her brother oh, wow. in the original one that isn't in this new Oh, that's cut. a shame. Well, I understand why, actually. Okay. And again, uh, with new films, we don't give spoilers. Right, yeah. So totally. I'm, I don't want to give anything away. And obviously, there are certain parts of the plot that will give it away. So um, anyway, I just thought this was kind of interesting as a little backdrop that yeah, the length, they added quite a bit of it. The whole uh, video recording thing on VHS with him talking to the audience, that whole part element of the film wasn't in the original I like screening that. at all. I, I like really that. like that. I thought that, that worked yeah. very well. Um, all the live footage, they hadn't actually put it in yet. Oh, that's cool. Um, that's really cool because I loved the live footage. Exactly. That and then brilliant. the ending was quite different. Oh. You know, obviously the story is still the same. Because it's the facts. <laughs> but it was quite different as to how they, how they shot it. And okay. I just thought that was really interesting. And the biggest difference is um, the sheriff, the, the kind of redhead guy. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you recognize that I guy. I know who that is. He's from Friday Jesse, Night Lights. Yeah, so it's yeah. Jesse Plemons. He, okay. he, he's been in Fargo. Uh -huh. He was in Friday Night Lights. He's a, a kind of a, you know, a young actor who's on the rise. Yeah. Um, I like that guy a lot. Me he too. wasn't in the original film at all. Really? The original cut I saw at all. Oh, wow. So I think what happened is his storyline, which involved, again, with the wife's brother, probably had a lot more scenes they took it out and then I guess they decided to put it back in but still not fully it was very very minor got it anyway that's just a little backstory so in terms of the film overall um, I enjoyed it and I reviewed it today and I gave it three and a half out of five stars okay do you think that's fair? I think that's pretty fair. I mean, I would, I, I, I would have leaned a little more towards four myself right. probably because I hadn't seen right. a pre-screening uh, to compare it to and have that viewpoint of but i walked out of the theater very very happy hmm. i but i agree i think that's a fair very fair rating yeah so i was thinking of giving it four if yeah. you remember before i saw it again of course and the only reason why i give it three and three and a half was although i enjoyed it i guess you're right yeah. because i was seeing it again and because it was i was seeing it from a different perspective i didn't leave the theater thinking wow that was excellent right you know i didn't um I was engrossed the entire time. I was yeah, entertained. Yeah, definitely. Um, and I thought it was a, a fascinating story and very well done. But remember, my rating, four is like excellent. Yeah, totally. Three is good. Yeah. So three and a half is like a, yeah, a very, very good. good film. I think that's totally fair. Yeah, that's so a that's correct why rating. I, I gave it three and a half out of um, five stars. And I'll stand behind that. I think that's fair. Um, I definitely recommend people see this. What, here's what I love about it. I love that it's, um, well, number one, it's a biopic. Yeah. It's a true story of yeah. this uh, pilot called Barry Seal in the late 70s and 80s who uh, he got involved <laughs> in the craziest stuff amazing which was all true yeah. as well I mean his stories apparently were so true that they actually couldn't fit everything in the movie yeah but he was literally he was flying drugs for the Medellin cartel for Pablo Escobar he was working for the CIA CIA for the yeah. DEA for the B, uh, Secret FBI Service. Right. then he gets involved in working for the White House he was part of the Iran Contra yeah. affair. You know, it, it's pretty crazy all yeah. the stuff he got up to. So the, that alone, the film was quite entertaining just to see that story unfold. Totally. Um, and then Tom Cruise, I mean, it's just such a different... It's funny, I did think it was a different role for him, but I mean, he plays kind of a hot shot fighter pilot or you know a pilot well what movie has he been in right. with that before <laughs> top gun you know what i mean but a very different character. very different kind of yeah. role very a uh, very different kind of character very very you know different. he is charming but i like for instance i loved the relationship with his wife i yeah. loved how much he really loved his family and yeah. loved his wife and I thought Sarah Wright, um, who, you know, I haven't really seen in much at all. She's done some TV. I thought she was really good um, yeah. in that role as she his wife. Great. She kind of played that sassy, southern, yeah. you know, mother bear. 
Um, anyway, I really, I really liked her. I mean, she doesn't have a, a huge amount of, you know, scenery and, uh, you know, time to chew into. But what she did deliver, I thought was really good. Yeah. And then uh, uh, Donald uh, Gleason yeah. is kind of the CIA handler who's kind of arranging everything. Barry Seal. He was good in that, but yeah, it was kind of a one note character. It was yeah. okay. He, you know, he was, he was fine. I actually um, found the brother very notable because that was well cast and it was such a kooky oh, character. The hick kind of. He's yeah, like, this. Well, he's the classic, like, very hick, very white trashy. White trash kind of young brother. Creepy yeah. kind of, you know, with the really white um, wife beater tan and all of that. I thought he was that great. That guy is a Canadian, like, pop star or rock oh, star. Really? Yeah, he's like a musician. Oh, how funny. I've forgotten his name, but he was in the Twin Peaks TV sh- ah, uh, series okay. as well. I've seen him in a few things. And, uh, yeah, he kind of plays the same role all the time. This kind of white trash, creepy guy. Yeah. I mean, I guess he does it well. <laughs> he was he was good in that. Um, yeah, I mean, the film is, I think you'll agree with me, 100% a Tom Cruise starring vehicle. Totally. Oh, you know, 100%. As I said, I mean, yeah. she Sarah Wright stood out to me the most. I think she really did well yeah. with the role she had. But it was great to just see Tom Cruise... In a performance where he could really kind of chew on the role, yeah. he made the 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 character so likable. Yet, you know, he's such an anti hero. Oh, you know totally! What I mean? You're I mean, like, what is this guy doing? Yet, right. he's this gleeful Southern, just wants to make it, make right. money, and just goes with everything, goes with every flow. Right. And it's it's such a funny character because he's yeah. just sort of that gleefulness. Like yeah. he's just sort of well, okay. Yeah, and you can't condone what he's doing. Of course not. But and the fact that he got away with it for so long. I know. Um, you know, look, I mean, here's the thing. The film is is actually quite funny as well at times. Oh, yeah. Um, and some, some great I, laughs. Yeah, I thought some of the, the biting humor was, was actually really well done, you know, and it, it takes you through, I think it's a whole, like, seven-year yeah. period of kind From, of like, everything. like, 79 to 86 yeah, or something. 78 to 85, yeah, yeah. 86. You know, and obviously... It, Things don't end well. Of course. You know, um, and again, no spoilers, but, um, you know, it, it's a biopic. It's kind of like a, almost like a dark comedy drama. Yeah. True life biopic. With action, th- lots yeah. of a- some action thrown in there because of the, the nature of everything. Yeah. So, um, you know, great um, flying sequences. Yeah. Obviously, uh, really Tom good. Cruise did all of his own flying with yeah. Doug Lyman literally sitting next to him filming it there's some great scenes especially the one that you see in the trailer where yeah. he crash lands the plane and explodes with cocaine he's like hey so little good. darling you know here's so the money good. for you and he drives off and rides off in their little bicycle, bicycle. you know so, so look, great scenes like that and I, I love the scenes it was a few times through the movie where he tells his wife do you trust me and she's like no, Fuck no. <laughs> you know um, brilliant. I, th- I found that very uh, very funny but um you know and then literally yeah it kind of culminates to him you know, there's that scene where the CIA, CIA, FBI, DEA, the local sheriff's office all raid him. And then he ends up going to the White House yeah. and ends up working directly for Ronald Reagan, you know, which yeah. is where everything kind of culminates. So it's a pretty crazy story. Um, I definitely recommend it. I think it's a good movie. Anything else you want to say? Yeah, just... Um... I obviously, I've told you, I've watched the full first season of Narcos. So I'm oh, very yeah. into, Dave, uh, my husband and I are very into currently the whole backstory of the Colombian drug cartels Pablo Escobar and, and Pablo and, Escobar, yeah. who is obviously featured and um, that whole thing. And what I think they did a really good job of in this movie in terms of the history and adding all the, you know, the drug cartel stuff and the Pablo Escobar stuff and all of that is they did a really good job at making it simple to understand and adding in facts and different things for right. the for the general viewer that because there's a lot going on in that day and age right. and, and, and there was a there's a lot to understand in narcos it can actually get pretty complicated and you have to really track and everything yeah you've told me about that yeah. so i still haven't checked it yeah out. and it is it, you know it is very much based on obviously history and a lot of it is very factual um, and I love that that with the Barry Seal story and, you know, the American sort of very much. Um, I mean, I was in the theater. There were a lot of laughs. It was a full theater, a lot of laughs and a lot of just uh, interaction from everybody watching. Yeah, people people next liked to us them. Who were literally like, what the hell? Or like, <laughs> oh, my God. Because, yeah. I mean, here's what's funny again is, I mean, this is a true story and it's crazy what went down. 
Yeah. You know, it really is. And anyway, I thought it was really well directed by Doug Liman. Yeah. Uh, fantastically performed uh, by Tom Cruise. And, Definitely. Uh, you know, the character is so fun, uh, so interesting. Um, just a, a good piece of filmmaking. And again, I think that's why I didn't give it like a four or a five because, you know, I don't know that it's a classic film. I don't. I wasn't like, oh yeah, that was amazing. But I, I was engrossed the whole time. I found uh, I found it uh, an entertaining and just Absolutely. a very very well made movie and it yeah. was enjoyable. You know, I'll, I'll certainly watch it again when it comes out on iTunes. So I think three and a half out of five stars is is a, a good review for that. And Absolutely. I mean, it's you know, it's it's getting great um, reviews. Um, I hope it does pretty well at the box office. It's already made its entire gross internationally. Yeah. So we'll see how it does in in the U.S. Um, but yeah, I'd say definitely check out American Made. I, I'm not sure if um, it's going to get Academy Award buzz. I was talking about that yeah, in the first episode. I don't know about that. I'm not sure. Maybe I wouldn't be surprised if he got a Golden Globe nomination. Um, but we'll see. Um, I recommend it. So uh, that's my review uh, for American Made with yeah. Tom Cruise, directed by Doug Liman in theaters. Check it out. Totally. All right. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much for listening to episode seven of Tony the Movie Guy, the podcast. This was a movie review episode on American Made. Just a reminder to follow us on all of our social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Tony the Movie Guy. And email us in with questions, comments, whatever you like to Tony the Movie Guy podcast at gmail.com. Also, I want to remind you guys especially to rate and review our podcast. It is so helpful having those, uh, those ratings and those reviews on iTunes. So if you could keep doing that, we'd love to get the podcast to more people. And that really, really helps. Until next time. Bye-bye.